Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, you could ask me a question in the comment section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. All right, Sagittarius, I scurry the crystal for you today, and the image that I saw within the crystal for you was a reddish-colored hen. And the hen was, like, trying to sit on a nest, but she kept standing. It seems like she wasn't, you know, like, comfortable. But there's two messages behind a hen. Now, the first message that a hen could represent is you are very much connected to, you know, a nurturing motherly love. And, you know, perhaps you are trying to create a family and you're finding it difficult right now, you know, to find that, you know, that connection. You know, perhaps uh, it's not the right timing or not the right person, you know, and that will only apply to a select few of you out there. Um the other message that a hen could represent, uh, biblically, a hen could represent the love that God has for us. You know, the love that, you know, Jesus has here for, you know, us, his children. You know, the the maternal, you know, instinct of, you know, looking after his creation and, you know, letting you know that you're very much loved. So, you know, both these messages, you know, could possibly apply to you. All right. Let's get into your reading. The first card to come out for you today was the judgment card. So with the judgment card being here, uh, there has been some type of judgment made. And I feel like someone has done something to you and they're going to be receiving some type of karma for this decision, for this act that they have done. Next card out for you is eight of wands. So with the eight of wands, this is fast movement of communication. I feel like you're uh, going to hear something about someone with the eight of wands that's going to be made known to you. You, know, you perhaps might even learn later down the line that this person got karma for their actions. Uh, the next card out was the Knight of Coins in reverse. So with this card coming out in reverse, this is a, a person that is of an unloyal energy. This is someone that's unreliable, undependable, possibly even an animal abuser. Uh, this is someone that only thinks of themselves, you know, a very materialistic individual. Uh, possibly could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be, but they are in this uh, like earth energy. So there could be someone that you're going to find out that this person is not who you thought they were, you know, them coming out here in the eight of wands, you know, and they're the eight of, I'm sorry, the knight of coins in reverse here, you know, them coming out in that energy of, you know, being in reverse of, of a toxic individual. I feel like it's going to be made known to you. Next card out is the two of cups. So perhaps you had thought this person was going to be a soulmate and you're learning that this individual is not a good energy, you know, to have that type of uh, soulmate connection, you know, that they are a toxic individual and are not your soulmate. Next card out is the seven of wands. So it's telling you to stand your ground against this individual. If they try to, you know, come to you and say that they want a relationship with you or start a family with you, you know, remain very cautious of this individual, stand your ground against them because this is not the right person. This person is not going to be a reliable, trustworthy individual. Next card out is the two of coins. So with the two of coins being here, you know, you need to keep your life in balance. And I see that you're going to keep your life here balanced with this grounded earth energy of the two of coins. You know, when you stand your ground, you're going to be protecting your balance. Next card out is the four of coins because you're protecting yourself against this individual that is a very selfish, greedy individual. This is not someone that you could start a family with or, you know, even have a, you know, a close relationship with because if ever you need something, they're not going to be there for you. They're only serving their own means. Next card out for you is the four of wands. So with the four of wands being here, this is a family. This is get togethers. You know, this is happiness within a family unit here with the four of wands. And that was clarified by the ace of coins. So don't worry, because God is going to be blessing you here with the four of wands of a stable family home, of a happy union, of, you know, all things that make a, a healthy and happy family that God is going to be blessing you here with, with the ace of coins. So, you know, don't pay attention this, to this toxic individual that is trying to sidetrack you because God has bigger and better things planned for you with the ace of coins.
next card out for you is hops celebration so it's letting you know here with the hop celebration to always celebrate everything you know whether big or small and always appreciate yourself and all your accomplishments whether big or small and with the hops being here has lots of medicinal benefits if you make this plant into a tea it could help with you know treating anxiety and nervous tension and the next card out for you was <clears throat> excuse me storytelling connection so with this card coming out, it's letting you know to appreciate and to, you know, remember the good things that your family has taught you, but to release any toxicness that they could have tried to install upon you, you know, like self-doubt or even, you know, seeing them, this will be for a select few of you out there, uh, seeing them with toxic relationships growing up as children, we could end up, you know, putting ourselves in that situation. So it's letting you know here with the storytelling connection to be aware of that and to hold on to the good memories, but to release anything that was toxic that our family has tried to install upon us. So all in all, I see a really good reading here for you. You know, you are going to release this individual that is not good for you and you're going to be blessed by God of having a family structure and union you know know that your body is a temple and continue on God's path and God will bless you with someone that is worthy enough for you all right Sagittarius if this resonates with you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe